Center. Um, let me also introduce um, Algernon as a company to you. Um, and then Vishal will take over. So Agilent, as you know, is a best measurement company, and we primarily focus in electronic measurement. Uh, we have uh, primarily the three divisions: uh, electronic measurement, chemical analysis, and life sciences. So it's a billion-dollar company. Some of you might imagine it was an offshoot of Philip Packard way back in the year 2000. Philip Packard tied off that group and that unit was bound. So we are from the electronic measurement group and we have the widest portfolio of tested measurement uh, equipment. And backing up these businesses is uh, what is called as Agilent Laboratories where cutting edge research happens. And this is where we also have a collaborative relationship with some of the universities worldwide. So when it comes to academia, you know, we have a lot of solutions, but primarily I would say we have four pieces. We have, we are collaborating with certain universities on research projects. When it comes to teaching, the basic undergraduate teaching, we have teaching labs where we provide our basic equipments along with our teaching kits. We also have the education tools, and this is available in the CD which is given to you uh, in the back. So there's a CD which is called Educator's Corner. It's got a lot of utilities in that sense. So when it comes to teaching labs, we have, like I said, we have basic equipment and we provide a teaching kit. So these are available in analog, digital, and RF. And today we have uh, uh, RF teaching lab which, uh, which I will demonstrate. When it comes to the postgraduate of research, uh, these are very domain specific. So let's say you have a PG program or a research program on wireless and we can help you to set up a complete lab. And today we are talking to this college to set up a lab uh, which has primarily RF equipments, both for single generation analysis and also component tests. We also have some EDA tools, so after uh, Vishal completes his presentation, we have another person, uh, Pratik, who will talk about EDS, which is our design tool. So these are some of the examples that we want to share on some of the research associations that we have at colleagues. And one of them is in India, this is a college in Kaimutu, uh, this is, which is ranked in the top 30. We help them to set up a complete wireless lab catering to a new PG course that they want to start. So we work with them with the syllabus creation, look at the content and also help them define the labs. Worldwide, this is a snapshot of universities that we collaborate. In India, you can see we are collaborating with IIT Bombay, IIT Chennai, IIT Delhi. We also want to uh, have more relationships with many more colleges uh, when it comes to setting up research labs. Some of the examples where we have set up a PG or research lab, uh, PSG College, um, this is primarily the wireless communications, IIT Bombay, uh, this is a recent one. We are helping them to set up a semiconductor uh, characterization lab, both for low frequency DC as well as RF. And when I say RF, we're talking about particular lab. So it is a complete lab that Ajilan is helping. <coughs> And today, you know, my name is also 
a hot topic which we see being employed in curriculum in many colleges. So we have set up some experiments uh, around mindset and mind. And then using our design tools, we also have some basic design experiments which can be leveraged even for undergraduates. So we provide what is called as an ADS cookbook, which defines about 10 experiments which you can uh, do even in undergraduate. And as a student migrates to PG, the experiments become more and more popular. <coughs> Uh, just a brief about our teaching solutions. So I said we have teaching labs in analog electronics, digital, and and uh, and today Vishal will show you the RF circuit design labs. So teaching lab comes with our basic equipment, a teaching kit. We also provide the theory, the form of a PowerPoint slide, which the faculty can run. We talk of circuit theory. We provide the basic slide set faculty can make use of it, add, edit, and then run the theory in the class. And when the student comes to the lab, we provide the student the lab sheet, which provides a, a purposeful experiment, equipment needed, and then a brief description of how the experiment is. And then place where he, will, he or she will not process. So with that, I will hand it off to uh, Vishal.